Welcome back. 2024 is on. The presidential field is growing. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, the very latest candidate to enter the race, as we expected. He broke that news on this program months ago. Joining me right now is Goya Food CEO Bob Unanwe. Bob, great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Uh, great to be with you, Maria. You're the best. Thank you. From a business standpoint, how are you looking at the 2024 election? I mean, during the 2022 midterms, we saw a slight shift among Latinos voting Republican. Uh, but analysts from Voto Latino show Democrats are still uh, with the overall advantage. What's your take on how this plays out for 24? As a CEO businessman, you know, what's happened in the last two years is a complete disaster. We've unraveled all the gains that were made. But I'm more here today as a Latino than as a business person. And when things get bad, we need an intervention. We need an intervention bad, or otherwise we're going to lose this country, our morality. Uh, a few years ago, actually, it was July 9th, 2020, I was at the White House and I said we were blessed. That word blessed came onto my lips by the Holy Spirit. And we are in a spiritual war. But we, this intervention is being, is, I'm gonna, is going to take place with the Holy Spirit. The Latinos, which will be the biggest group in this country by 2050 or by next week with this open border, hold the values of God, family, life, work. We are attacked. They've left countries with communism, with oppression, where there's no freedom of speech, only to find that happening here. We're in a country yeah. where we're attacking the children. Our children are under attack. And we need to value, and Donald Trump is the person who it, we are blessed with and who will lead this country closer to God. I, I know that because I've talked to so many people. I believe the Holy Spirit is speaking through us. Uh, the other day in, in, in Miami and in, in Versailles, they prayed on President Trump that this country will not turn over to communism, where the Cubans know all about that, the Venezuelans know all about that. Yeah, and that's right. I believe that Donald J. Trump will be the person, is the person that the Holy Spirit has designated as the person to lead this country closer to God and hold on to the values that the Latinos hold on to. And that they are going to, I believe, swing this vote uh, for the 24. If not, we're, we're well. done. Even 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 with all of this pressure that this uh, man is facing, I mean, look, he just got indicted again. There are still other cases that, uh, you know, are unfinished. What's your take on how these legal problems will impact his ability to run and win? You know, if you told Donald J. Trump, look, I'm going to, you're going to wake up every day. They're going to kick your butt. <laughs> they're going to attack you. They're going to sue you. They're going to uh, vilify you and they're going to ruin your business, what do you think? This man has incredible courage and love for this country. Before he was president, I, I know it uh, through a doctor friend of mine at Ben Minister, he, he walked yeah. into the room and they said, Mr. Trump, or, or should it be Mr. President? And you know what he said? He said, this country is so messed up, I'm going to do it. I'll take out the expletive you might have used. But he said, I'm going to do it. And that takes courage. And he's got nothing to gain. This man yeah. could be living on the beach, but he has so much love for this country and love for us. That's why people say we love you. Uh, yeah. That he is going to surprise. They're not after him. They're, as he says, they're after us. He's just in the way. Well, that's what he always says. I know that. Look, the issues are so significant, from foreign policy to economic issues. It's hard to believe that people will want four more years of Biden policy. Bob, inflation is still gripping American wallets. It's going to be one of the big factors for 2024, isn't it? You're a business guy. You're seeing prices on both the producer level and the customer level. You, you've got to pass those price increases to customers. Where are we on inflation? And how come food is still elevated in price, Bob. Yeah, it's the overall inflation, uh, 4 percent, but in food, it's, it's hanging around 10 and, and it's continuing going. Look, there's been droughts, big droughts in Europe, uh, which followed by tremendous rains that washed out a lot of the crops. In this country, we're the largest producers of tomatoes. The tomato crop has been pretty much devastated. A lot of the uh, uh, rules in California 
go against industry. It's one of the biggest agricultural uh, producers in the, in the world. And the farmer is under attack. We've had droughts in the South affecting rice, affecting tomatoes, as I said. Uh, and so the supply chain, yes, uh, freights have come down from their, you know, they went up 10 times. Uh, but food continues to be a big uh, issue. And I don't see it. Uh, and we're on a new crop now. Uh, this summer, we're, we're going to be bringing all the crops, our beans, our rice, and all these things. But, you know, I see uh, food continuing to be, because of the world situation, droughts around the world, floods around the world, being a big problem going forward. Yeah, well, we still have all that money swashing around as well, right? The Biden administration wants to continue spending despite this most recent uh, debt ceiling bill. Bob, it's great to have you this morning. Real quick before you go, you mentioned uh, you, your support for President Trump. Do you think the Latino community uh, would support uh, the Miami mayor, Suarez? You know, we need good, we need strong uh, states. Otherwise, if everything goes to the federal, we have a dictatorship. We need yeah, Donald Trump in the in the in the in the, uh, in the in the White House, but we need strong mayors and and uh, and governors around the country. Uh, but the, again, the values. By the way, the okay. Latinos hold on to their language and pronouns are male and female. They're not. There's no <laughs> confusion about that. <laughs> yeah. Last I checked, that was uh, basically reality, Bob. Uh, male and female. All right. It's good to see you, sir. Thanks very much, Bobby Nanway, joining us this morning. Goya Foods. Always a pleasure, Bob. Thanks. God bless, Maria.